Attention Holstein exhibitors, it is 12.30. Your junior two-year-olds should be at ringside. We're ready to begin with or without you. Junior two-year-olds in the ring now, please. At this time, we welcome you back to our arena and the conclusion, concluding classes in our Holstein show for the day here at Old Home Week. These are the entries in Class 8, the junior two-year-olds. These entries are born between March the 1st and August the 31st of 2010. The class is sponsored by Weeksdale Holsteins, the best bread and own, sponsored by ADL, and the best uttering class sponsored by the Central PEI Holstein Club.
For those of you marking programs, please note we have one scratched entry in this class. Ring number 60 will not be shown. So once again, ring number 60 is a scratched entry. Our Holstein exhibitors and friends are reminded of a social this evening for Andrea Crow fundraiser at the Cimbria Lions Club beginning at 6.30 with muscles and 7 o'clock is the meal and it is hosted by Crasdale Firms. So once again, the friends of Andrea Craswell, Crowell, sorry, the friends of Andrea Crow fundraiser 6.30 this evening at the Cimbria Lions Club. Attention Holstein exhibitors, the junior two-year-olds are now in the ring. We are looking for your senior two-year-olds to ringside. Senior two-year-olds, please begin making your way to ringside. We're very pleased this afternoon to be presenting the Elmer K. Smith Award. The Elmer K. Smith Memorial Award is presented annually during the Holstein Show here at Old Home Week. Mr. Smith was the owner of Smilane Holsteins in Concora, Prince Edward Island, and was a longtime exhibitor and a director here at the Provincial Exhibition. The two-type cow on the top of the award depicts one of Elmer's favorite cows, Smilane Donna Matador a three-time grand champion here at the Old Home Week show from 1991 to 1993. This award is presented to a person who has contributed significantly to the Holstein industry as well as to the fairs and exhibitions of Prince Edward Island. And this year we're very honored to be presenting the Elmer K. Smith Memorial Award to Mr. Freeman Simmons. Freeman Simmons has been a long, long time strong promoter of the Holstein breed for much of his life. In his quiet and mild mannered way, Simmons has supported and assisted many breeders in Atlantic Canada in developing their breeding programs. In 1968, Freeman Simmons started Wilson Dairy Farms, which was a leading herd in the province for many years 
and earned a Master Breeder's Shield in 1998. Freeman retired from actively operating Wilson Dairy Farms in 1987. At this time, he continued to be active in the industry by offering a trucking service and breeding or partnering on many great cows. Through this period, Freeman was also a key part of the team at Brian Craswell Auctions as the business was being established. Perhaps his greatest contribution has always been at the grassroots level, working with the barn crews and providing leadership through example of work ethic and attitude. His infectious laugh and love for humor always keeps crews happy and productive. Freeman's motto always was, a smiling crew gets more work done. In 2000, Freeman Simmons joined with Gene Smallwin to, to begin the Lexus Cattle Company. This company raised the bar in establishing a name for Prince Edward Island Holsteins, both in the show ring and with their marketing accomplishments. Freeman Simmons is the past president of the PEI Holstein branch and the PEI Artificial Breeding Association. He has also been an official judge and is a strong supporter of the 4-H program. Freeman is always ready to offer support for young breeders and to give a hand up to assist them in becoming established in the breed. Freeman Simmons has been an important part of the development of the Holstein breed in Prince Edward Island and has had an influence in the breeding programs across Canada. It will never be known just how much Freeman helps people in the cattle business as well as outside the business. Freeman and his wife Joyce continue to enjoy traveling and spending time in the South. Tasks are done without looking for praise even though it is very well deserved. If there was a poll of breeders of whom he has helped it would be amazing the amount of people it would be. His many successes in the show ring and support of the breed promotion have been an asset to the Holstein business. His tireless support of young breeders, shows, sales, and breed activities makes Freeman Simmons a deserving winner of the Elmer K. Smith Award. At this time, we extend our congratulations to Freeman Simmons and invite you to join in your appreciation of recognizing this great individual that we recognize today, Mr. Freeman Simmons. Attention Holstein exhibitors, we're looking for your senior two-year-olds to ringside. Please begin making your way with your senior two-year-olds. Yes. At this time, uh, we'd uh, like to make a draw. Uh, Eastside Holsteins with, uh, Eastside and Lewisdale Holsteins with their cow, Eastside Lewisdale Gold Amaze. Um, this cow produced 400 embryos recently, or 400th embryo recently. And with that accomplishment, uh, Eastside Lewisdale has uh, been, uh, had a contest going to uh, win that 400th embryo. So we're now going to do the draw to see who is going to, uh, to win that embryo. And to, to do the draw, we've got uh, Mia from Finland, our CMEX rep from Finland, and Dan Brady from CMEX, and Mariah Jones from uh, Eastside. And they're going to uh, draw the embryo and announce the winner here. And our winner is Stefan Robinson. So Stefan Robinson, congratulations on winning this embryo from Eastside, Lewisdale, Gold Amaze.
number one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as these heifers lead out, uh, I think we've got three tremendous heifers to start this class and, and very fine heifers all the way down the line. But for me today, uh, this heifer, if she'd just lead out for us, she's just a tremendously balanced, dairy, angular heifer with a mammary that uh, jumps right out at you, great veination, great attachments, and uh, for me today, wins the class quite easily. Second over third, that's a very close placing for me. Uh, before I give you those reasons, I'll just say that first place heifer over second, again, she just is cleaner and, and more angular up through the head and neck, and I prefer just the snugness of her fore udder to the, the beautiful black heifer in second. Second over third, as I said, a very, very close placing, but for me today, the heifer in second, she just moves out more freely on her hind legs. Uh, I prefer her pastern to this big, beautiful, long dairy heifer in third. Third over fourth, a heifer that just carries that openness and length of body and uphill run over the heifer in fourth. And fourth over fifth, uh, just showing more quality of her mammary system today than this nice long cow in fifth. The results of Class 8, the junior two-year-olds, sponsored by Weeksdale Holsteins, ADL, and the Central PEI Club. First place to ring 61, Cherry Crest Goldwyn Aspire, exhibited by Regwall Farms, IGL, Trichili, Russendale, and Bonchery. This entry is also the best utter in Class 8. Second to ring 62, Pine River Baxter Savannah, exhibited by Robert Biot, Louis Philippe Boutin and Pascal Cassette. Third to ring 67, Lewisdale Shuttle Amaze, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins and Lewisdale Holsteins. And this entry is best bred and owned in class eight. Fourth to ring 63, Extendale Spurt Hattie, exhibited by Extendale Farms and Straightside Holsteins. Fifth to ring 69, ID Shuttle Louise, exhibited by ID Holsteins. Sixth to ring 65, Lookout Goldwyn Carey, exhibited by Birkentree Holsteins. Seventh to ring 66, Weeksdale Florian Mamie, exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. Eighth to ring 68, Farnier TBR Gold Beauty ET, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. And ninth to ring 64, Shadow Wave S. Ladina, exhibited by Shadow Wave Holsteins. Reading from the top of the class, ring 60 was a scratched entry, 61 was first and best utter, 62 placed 2, 63 was fourth, 64 placed 9, 65 was sixth, 66 placed 7, 67 was third and best utter in class, or sorry, and best bred and owned in class, 68 was 8, and 69 was 5. Once again, we remind our Holstein exhibitors that those of you fin placing first and second in your classes this afternoon to please hold on to your half band numbers and wear them into the ring for the championship classes at the end of the day. Once again, we ask you to please hold on to your half band numbers and wear them back to the ring for championship classes. A reminder to our Holstein exhibitors in the ring that we'd ask that you please hold on to your hat band numbers for those of you who are placing first and second in classes as you will be returning for championships at the end of the day. And we'd ask that you please keep your hat bands and wear them into the ring at the end of the day in those championship classes.
Now making their way into the ring are the entries in class nine. These are the senior two-year-olds born September the 1st of 2009 to the last day of February of 2010. This class is sponsored by Lindenord Holsteins, the best bread and own sponsored by ADL, and the best udder is sponsored by Garden Vale Holsteins. For those of you marking programs, please note we have one scratched entry from class nine. Ring number 73 is a scratched entry. So once again, ring number 73 will not be shown.
Attention Holstein exhibitors, the senior two-year-olds are well underway. We need your junior three-year-olds at ringside. Junior three-year-olds, please begin making your way to ringside.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this class of senior two-year-olds, uh, again, the top three are, are very, very fine heifers. And for me today, I'm starting the class with a heifer that just shows that beautiful style and balance about her. She's got a, you know, a great out on the walk. She's very, very stylish with a very snugly uh, attached stutter, both fore and rear. Uh, I do grant the heifer in second today is a little higher, wider of a rear udder attachment, but I, I believe the style and balance of this heifer and the, the, the great snugness of udder puts her ahead of the heifer in second. Second over third, a very close placing, and for me today, I, I just uh, prefer the front teat placement of our second over third, uh, as well as just being a little more level over the top line than this beautiful long cow in third. Third over fourth, a cow that just showing more bloom to her udder, uh, granting the cow in fourth is the youngest and very fresh in the class. Uh, she'll need a little more time. And fourth over fifth, cow just showing more uh, symmetry of udder as well as just a little more snugness of udder than the cow in fifth. The results of class nine, the senior two-year-olds, sponsored by Linda Nord Holsteins, ADL, and Garden Vale Holsteins. First place to ring 76, Bernalta Goldwyn Jade, exhibited by Crasdell Farm, Blondin, and C. Woodmansey. Second to ring 71, I.D. Goldwyn Lucia, exhibited by I.D. Holsteins, and this entry is best bred and owned in class nine. Third, to ring 77, I.D. Lauren Ruby, exhibited by I.D. Holsteins. Fourth, to ring 70, East River A. Shock Nettie, exhibited by East River Firms. Fifth, to ring 78, Lewisdale East Side Gold Acura, exhibited by Birkentree Holsteins, Nordale, and Bernadale. Sixth, to ring 74, Tumbleweed Dundee Crackle, exhibited by Extendale Firms and Weeks Holsteins. Seventh, to ring 72, Bud John J.K. Goldwyn Anika E.T., exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. And eighth, to ring 75, Pierstein Roy Laney, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Reading from the top of the class, ring number 70 was fourth, 71 was second and best bred and owned, 72 was seventh, 73 was a scratched entry, 74 placed six. 75 was 8th, ring 76 was the class winner and best utter in class, 77 placed 3rd, and ring 78 was 5th. Now in the ring is the selection of the special award for the best island bred 2-year-old. And this award is sponsored by Perfection Foods. And Perfection Foods will present a trophy for the best two-year-old Holstein female bred on PEI.
do it now or okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this class of island bred uh, two-year-old, excuse me, I'm going with the junior two today. She, uh, as I said in class, she's a tremendously long, tall, well-balanced heifer. And just giving her an advantage and a little longer of fore attachment as well as uh, just being a little cleaner up through the head and neck than the senior two. The winner of the Perfection Foods Trophy Ring number 67, Lewis Dale Shuttle Amaze, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins and Lewis Dale Holsteins. The next class of the ring will be the junior three year olds. Attention, Holstein exhibitors, the junior three year olds are in the ring. Next class will be the intermediate champion. So those of you with first and second place entries in the two two-year-old classes, please make sure you are at ringside. Now making their way into the ring are the entries in class 10. These are the junior three-year-olds, born March the 1st, 2009 to August the 31st of 2009. This class is sponsored by Crasdale Farms, the best bred and owned, sponsored by ADL, and the best utter class, sponsored by Brent Drake, Livestock and Transport. Attention Holstein exhibitors, the junior three-year-olds are in the ring. This is a small class of only four. That will be followed by the intermediate champion and then the senior three-year-olds. So your intermediate champion entry should be at ringside and your senior three is not far behind.
Attention in the Burns. We're looking for the second place junior two-year-old at ringside, please. Second place junior two-year-old, you are missing from the ring.
Well, in this class of cows, ladies and gentlemen, I think our first two are, are quite close in their placings, but for me today, the cow leading out, uh, she's just the most complete cow in the class with the, the fewest faults. She's a very, very well-balanced cow, uh, just from head to tail and extremely uh, smooth out on the walk. And close placing with our second place cow, but for me today, the cow in first, exhibiting a little more overall depth of fore and rear rib, as well as having a, a more level and desirable rump structure than this beautiful rear uttered cow coming out in second. Second over third uh, cow that just shows a lot more balance of her udder from side to side, uh, granting this big powerful cow in third. And third over fourth, a cow just showing more levelness of her top line and uh, a little more style than the cow in fourth. The results of class 10, the junior three-year-old, sponsored by Crasdale Farms, ADL, and Brent Drake Livestock. First place to ring 80, Brook Hill Goldwyn Cecile, exhibited by East River Farms. Second to ring 81, Lakefield Gold Jane, exhibited by Extendale Farms and Straightside Holsteins. And this entry is best utter in class. Third to ring 82, Valleyville Shuttle Stella, exhibited by Cobbequid Holsteins and Straightside Holsteins. And fourth to ring 79, Birkentree Goldwyn Evelyn, exhibited by Birkentree Holsteins and Diamond Hill. And this entry is the best bred and owned in class 10. So reading from the top of the class, 79 was fourth, best bred and owned. 80 was first, 81 was second and best utter. 82 placed third. Our next class to the ring will be the intermediate champion. Now making their way back to the ring are the entries for the Intermediate Championship class. These are the first and second place entries from the two two-year-old classes and the junior threes. The Intermediate Champion is sponsored by Suregain. The Reserve Intermediate Champion is sponsored by Good Equipment. And the honorable mention to the, junior, to the Intermediate Champion is sponsored by Atlantic Holstein Promotions.
Attention Holstein exhibitors, the intermediate champion class is in the ring, so we're looking for your senior three-year-olds to make your way to ringside. Senior three-year-olds, please begin making your way to ringside. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for Intermediate Champion today, I've pulled out these three cows uh, for me. They're, they're very similar in type. They're extremely angular dairy and beautiful mammary systems on them. Uh, it's probably not going to take me long to, to decide your Intermediate Reserve and Honorable Mention. So I'll just go out and tap them in that order and congratulate the Leedsman. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I think this junior two-year-old is a tremendous heifer. Uh, she's, she's, in my mind, very, very complete and got a great future, I would suspect. And I'm placing her over the senior two, just giving her that advantage of higher and wider in that rear rudder, a little fuller of a rear rudder attachment, but very similar heifers. And the senior two over the three-year-old, uh, just the heifer showing a little more bloom overall, a little cleaner up through the head and neck than the, the well-balanced cow in honorable mention. Thank you. The intermediate champion is ring number 61, Cherry Crest Goldwyn Aspire, exhibited by Ridgewall Farms, IGL, Turkili, Russendale, and Bonchier. The reserve intermediate champion, ring number 76, Benalta Goldwyn Jade, exhibited by Grasdale Farm, Blondin, and Wood Manzi. And the honorable mention, ring number 80, Brookhill Goldwyn Cecile, exhibited by East River Farms. So once again, the intermediate champion, ring number 61, the reserve, 76, and the honorable mention to ring 80.
Now making their way into the ring are the entries in Class 11. These are the senior three-year-olds, born September the 1st of 2008 to the last day of February of 2009. This class is sponsored by Birkentree Holsteins, the best bread and own, sponsored by ADL, and the best udder in the class, sponsored by Lilac Lodge Holsteins. Also, please note there is an added entry in ring or in Class 11. It is ring number 125, and the entry is Hopre Trulala Dusk, exhibited by Adam Clark. So once again, ring number 125, Hopre Trulala Dusk, exhibited by Adam Clark. Attention Holstein exhibitors, the senior three-year-olds are now in the ring. Your four-year-olds should be on their way to ringside. Senior threes are now in the ring. Four-year-olds to ringside, please.
The Holstein breeders of Prince Edward Island are noted for breeding cattle with strong confirmation backed by solid cow families. And the Canadian figures show that Prince Edward Island breeders are the leaders in genetic index in all of the major confirmation traits. This is the result of years of breeding and selecting for confirmation and longevity. Some Prince Edward Island producers have developed value-added opportunities through the sale of breeding stock and genetics. The province is noted for developing cattle that are superior confirmation. And these animals are in demand for the show ring and herd development. The Holstein breed has achieved international success in the show ring, with Prince Edward Island cows having been grand champion at the National Holstein Show at the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair for three of the last nine years. These cows are ID Luster, Winter Bay Goldwyn Lotto, and Eastside Lewisdale Gold Missy. And in 2011, Island Bred Animals received 14 All-Canadian nominations. This is 14% of all animals nominated last year.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a great class of cows here. And, uh, you know, these first two cows, I, I really, really admire these two. And certainly, uh, you know, you could place them and give reasons probably either way. But for me today, I know the cow leading out is, is very, very fresh, still quite fresh. But she just has that little more style out on the move, a little higher, wider rear rudder attachment, and prefer the way she handles her pastures to this big, beautiful dairy cow in second. Taking nothing away from this cow in second, uh, she's got a tremendous frame and dairiness and, and mammary system. I just, as I said, prefer the height and width of rear rudder of one over two. Second over third, again, uh, a real fine cow in third, the cow in second, though just showing more dairiness and openness and, and overall length and the beautiful balanced cow in third. Third over fourth, the cow is showing more, uh, just her rear rudder is showing more bloom and, and uh, teat size to the nice black cow in fourth. Fourth over fifth, the cow just moving out a little smoother. I like her up in through her head and neck a little more correct than the nice cow in fifth. The results of class 11, the senior three-year-old sponsored by Birkentree Holsteins, ADL, and Lilac Lodge Holsteins. First place, the added entry, ring 125, Hopre Tulala Dusk, exhibited by Adam Clark. And this entry is the best udder in class. Second to ring 85, Eastside Duplex Holly, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. And this is the best bred and owned in class 11. Third to ring 83, Maladale Dora Jack, exhibited by East River Farms. Fourth, Ring 84, Roy Champ, Mr. Byrne, Mercedes, exhibited by Bernadale Farm. Fifth, during 87, Pierstein, Lauren, Perpetua, exhibited by Cobblewood Holsteins and Diamond Hill Farms. Sixth, during 86, Combination Goldwyn Jewels, exhibited by Bernadale Farm. Seventh, during 92, Lalaven Spurt Flicka, exhibited by Cobblewood Holsteins, Luke McClellan and Sandy Cole. Eighth, during 91, Lewisdale Goldwyn Polly 702, exhibited by Lewisdale. Ninth, during 89, Eastside Goldwyn Marina, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Tenth, during 90, Lewisdale James Alice, exhibited by Lewisdale. And eleventh, during 88, Golden Flow Damien Flavor, exhibited by Macbeth Farms. Reading from the top of the class, ring number 83 was third, 84 placed four, 85 was second and best bred and owned, 86 placed six, 87 was fifth, 88 was 11th, 89 placed nine, 90 was 10th, 91 was eighth, 92 placed seven, and the added entry, ring 125, Hope Pray Tulola Dusk, exhibited by Adam Clark, was first and best utter. Now making their way to the ring are the entries in class 12. These are the four-year-olds born September the 1st of 2007 to August the 31st of 2008. 
This class is sponsored by Bernadale Holsteins, the best bread and own sponsored by ADL, and the best udder sponsored by Island Petroleum. Our Holstein exhibitors are reminded of the Friends of Andrea Crow fundraiser this evening at the Cimbria Lions Club. Muscles being served at 6.30, the meal at 7, and this is hosted by Crasdale Farms. Also a reminder of the 50-50 draw, which is taking place during the day. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, be sure and see someone at the awards table for that as well.
Attention Holstein exhibitors, the four-year-old class is well underway, so we're looking for your five-year-olds to ringside. Once again, the four-year-old class is well underway, so we're looking for five-year-olds. Please begin making your way to ringside with those entries. Attention Holstein exhibitors, the four-year-old class is nearing completion. We need your five-year-old entries at ringside.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think we've got a really, really, really deep class of cows here. Particularly the top four in my mind are tremendous, tremendous cows. Those memories and dairiness are uh, exceptional. But uh, for me today, I'm starting the class with a cow that, you know, when you get in behind these two cows, her rear udder and veination is, is just that much higher and wider than this beautiful uh, uphill run cow coming in second. Uh, just hold that cow for a sec. But, and, it, and it is that rear udder uh, height and width as well as the, uh, you know, the extreme dariness to carry the first cow over the second. Granting the cow in second, just a beautiful, beautiful cow from the side profile. She has exceptional balance and dariness, but for me today, she just doesn't have the quality of memory to, to win the class, but a close placing. Second over third, cow that just uh, up in through the front end just has way more height and, and style than this beautiful lettered cow coming in third. Third and fourth, very close placing as well, similar cows. But for me today, the cow in third showing more dariness up through the head and neck than this beautiful balanced cow in fourth. And fourth over fifth, a uh, cow that just exhibits a more desirable mammary system as well as being a little uh, dairier today than the cow in fifth. The results of class 12, the four-year-old sponsored by Bernadale Holsteins, ADL, and Island Petroleum. First place during 104, Arthusa I... Gold Marsh exhibited by Crasdale Farm, TNL Cattle, and Ty D. Holsteins. And this entry is best utter in class. Second, to ring 96, Weeksdale Goldwyn Raleigh exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. Third, to ring 107, Pascobac Star Lucida exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Fourth, to ring 95, Brydor Talon Jasmine, exhibited by East River Farms. Fifth, to ring 100, Eastside Damien Laid, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Sixth, to ring 106, Regwall Damien Lynn, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Seventh, to ring 97, Extendale Dolman Jenna, exhibited by Extendale Farms. Eighth, during 105, Weeksdale Allen Lolita, exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. Ninth, during 93, Birkentree Goldwyn Clea, exhibited by Birkentree Holsteins. Tenth, during number 98, Lewisdale Jerick Angel, exhibited by Lewisdale. Eleventh, during 94, Golden Flow Baxter Flashy, exhibited by Macbeth Farms. Twelfth, during 99, Straightside Goldie, exhibited by Extendale Farms and Straightside Holsteins. Thirteenth, during 101, Golden Flow Bits Funny Bone, exhibited by Macbeth Farms. Fourteenth, during 102, Extendale Salmo Fiona, exhibited by High Caliber Holsteins. And fifteenth, during 103, Golden Flow Damien 8, exhibited by Macbeth Farms. Reading from the top of the class, ring 93 was 9, 94 placed 11, 95 was 4th, 96 was 2nd and best bred and owned, 97 placed 7, 98 was 10th, 99 placed 12, 100 was 5th, 101 was 13th, 102 placed 14, 103 was 15th, 104 was your class winner and best utter in class. 105 was 8, 106 placed 6, and 107 placed 3rd. Now making their way into the ring are the entries in class 13. These are the five-year-olds born September the 1st of 2006 to August the 31st, 2007. This class is sponsored by Big Maple Holsteins, the best bred and owned by ADL, and the best udder sponsored by the Eastern Prince Edward Island Club.
attention Holstein exhibitors. Our judge is beginning his selections and the placings of our five-year-olds, so we're looking for our mature cows to ringside. The five-year-old class is starting to be selected. Please begin making your way to the ring with your mature cows.
Well, in this class of cows, ladies and gentlemen, uh, taking a little longer than maybe necessary, but you know, for me, there wasn't a cow that just really jumped out and, and took a hold of first place. But for me today, I think the cow leading out, she's not the biggest cow in the class, but for me, she has the best memory by far, and she's a, when she handles herself and gets settled down, she's quite a nice cow from the side profile. Recently fresh, and uh, to me, she has a great memory. Placing her over the cow in second, I just prefer the way the teats hang on the quarters over this long, silky cow in second, as well as she's a little more desirable in her uh, pin setting than this beautiful silky cow in second. Second over third, cow that just has a snugger, a uh, little more veination of udder than the nice cow in third. Third over this big, long cow in fourth, uh, giving her an advantage, just clean her up through the head and neck, uh, as, as well as a uh, little more texture to her memory today. Close placing again, fourth and fifth, these similar cows, but I prefer the, the cow in fourth, just of snugness of udder over this big cow in fifth. The results of class 13, the five-year-olds, sponsored by Big Maple Holsteins, ADL, and the Eastern PEI Club. First place during 113, Weeksdale, Goldwyn, Dallas, exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. And this entry is the best bred and owned and best udder in class 13. Second during 116, ID Goldwyn Lynette, uh, Lynette exhibited by ID Holsteins. Third during 110, Weeksdale Goldwyn Rania exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. Fourth during 117, Jobo Spurt 315 Janus exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Fifth during 118, Bernadale Goldwyn Broken exhibited by Bernadale Farm. Sixth during 111, Lewisdale Jewel, exhibited by Lewisdale. Seventh during 112, Brackley Farm, Final Cut Hillary, exhibited by East River Farms. Eighth during 114, Fortlands Goldwyn Jade, exhibited by I.D. Holsteins. Ninth during 115, Eastside Fortune Oreo, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. Tenth during 109, Burkhill Goldwyn Kate, exhibited by Lewisdale and Eastside Holsteins. And 11th during 108, ID Fortune Lisa, exhibited by ID Holsteins. Reading from the top of the class, ring 108 was 11, 109 placed 10, 110 was 3rd, 111 placed 6, 112 was 7th, 113 was 1st, best bred and owned and best utter. 114 placed 8, 115 was 9th, 116 was 2nd, 117 placed 4, and ring 118 was 5th. Attention Holstein exhibitors, our next class will be the Breeder's Herd. So those of you with entries in the Breeder's Herd, please begin making your way to ringside. We need your entries at ringside. Breeder's Herd entries to ringside, please. Now making their way into the ring are the entries in class 14. This is the mature cow class. Those entries born prior to September the 1st of 2006. The class is sponsored by Roy Ridge Holsteins, the best bred and owned by ADL, and the best utter class sponsored by McCain Fertilizer.
Attention Holstein exhibitors, the mature cow class is near completed, so if you do have a breeder's herd, please make your way to ringside with your animals. Breeder's herd entries, we need you at ringside. Well, we have a smaller class here in the mature cows, but certainly a cow leading out here is a tremendous dairy cow. She's had a lot of calves, and she's got an extremely good mammary system to go with that style and balance about her. And it's that dairiness and angularity that carries her over the big, tall cow in second. Second over third, a cow that just shows a lot more strength over through the top line, as well as being a little snugger of her mammary of this big, framey cow in third. The third over fourth, a very close placing, but I prefer the teat placement, the way the teats hang under the quarters and a little stronger median suspensory than this nice dairy cow in fourth. The results of class 14, the mature cows, sponsored by Roy Ridge Holsteins, ADL, and McCain Fertilizers. First place during 120, Eastside Kite Tristan, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins, this entry is the best bred and owned and best udder in class 14. Second, during 119, Copperquid Shuttle Bunch, exhibited by Birkentree Holsteins. Third, during 122, Eastside Gibson Hope, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. And fourth, during 121, Lewisdale Champion Jenna, exhibited by Lewisdale. So the class from the top, 119 was second, 120 was first, best bred and owned and best utter, 121 was four, and 122 placed three. Our next class to the ring will be the breeder's herd.
Now being assembled in the ring are those entries in the Breeders' Herd, and this class is sponsored by Vitequinol. Also, the winning entry in today's Breeders' Herd class will receive the John R. Thompson Memorial Trophy, presented by Mrs. Maud Thompson and family. Attention Holstein exhibitors, the Breeders' Herd classes are now in the ring, so we're looking for those entries for Grand Champion to ringside. Those entries eligible for Grand Champion, please make your way to ringside. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just while they're lining these uh, breeders' herds up, uh, I think we've got two exceptional herds here in first and second today. Quite a close placing, reasonably close, but for me, the, the winning group, they've got three exceptional animals in there. They're very uniform, extremely good memories, and uh, they win the class. Over the class in second, uh, just on that little bit more youthfulness, a little more uniformity, uh, all three cows in that first group are very, very... Very exceptional over the group in second. Second over third. Uh, again, just, you know, showing a little more desirable memory systems, a little more balance and uniformity. And third over fourth. Uh, again, just a uh, little more quality throughout than the group in fourth. The results of the Breeders Herd, sponsored by Vitequinol and also winning the John R. Thompson Memorial Trophy. The first place entry in this class, the entry from Weeksdale. Second, the entry from Eastside Holsteins. Third, the Breeders' Herd exhibited by I.D. Holsteins. And fourth, the entry from Lewisdale. So once again, first to Weeksdale. Second to Eastside. Third to I.D. Holsteins. And fourth to Lewisdale.
now making their way into the ring are those entries for the grand champion in today's show. The grand champion, sponsored by Green Diamond, the reserve by Scotia Bank, and the honorable mention by Island Dairy. The first entry in is ring number 61, as was the intermediate champion, Cherry Crest Goldwyn Aspire, exhibited by Regwall Farms, IGL, Trakeely, Russendale, and Bonshire. Our next entry is ring number 76, the reserve intermediate, Bernalta Goldwyn Jade, exhibited by Crasdale Farm, Blondin, and C. Woodmansey. Our next entry, we believe, is ring number 80, that is the honorable mention, Brookhill Goldwyn Cecile, exhibited by East River Farms. Ring number 125, Hopre Trilala Dusk, exhibited by Adam Clark. Ring number 85, Eastside Duplex Holly, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. The first place four-year-old was Arethusa I Gold Marsh, exhibited by Crasdale Farm, TNL Cattle, and Ty D Holsteins. Our second place four-year-old was ring number 96, Weeksdale Goldwyn Raleigh, exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. The first place five-year-old was ring 113, Weeksdale Goldwyn Dallas, exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. The second place five-year-old was ring number 116, I.D. Goldwyn Lunette, exhibited by I.D. Holsteins. And the first place mature cow was ring number 120, Eastside Kite Tristan, exhibited by Eastside Holsteins. And rounding out our order of champions for this afternoon's class, ring number 119, Copperquid Shuttle Bunch, exhibited by Birkentree Holsteins.
A reminder to our exhibitors and spectators that we do have some presentations that we will be making before our show wraps up this afternoon. In addition to the awards for the Grand Champion, reserve an honorable mention. We also will be presenting the award for the top production cow and the top show person and the premier breeder and exhibitor in our show. So we make sure to hang around and we will be completing our show with those presentations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're getting down to the uh, time of day when it's the championship cow is uh, chosen. And just before I do that, I just would like to make a couple comments and just bear with me for a few minutes, if you don't mind. Uh, it's certainly a pleasure and a privilege for me to be asked to come and judge your show today. Uh, one fortunate thing about it as well is that I got to bring my wife with me. She's never been to the Maritimes, and that was a great opportunity. So I'd just like to acknowledge my wife, Wendy, who's here today. Uh, as well, uh, we certainly need to just make note of all the people that uh, help put on this show, help organize. And, uh, you know, there's many, many people, sponsors, exhibitors, volunteers. I know what it's like. I am the chairman of the Westerner Dairy Showcase in Alberta, and, and it is a lot of work, and it's, uh, you know, everyone is a part of it. Uh, as well, the exhibitors, you know, they're the ones that <clears throat> go that extra mile, put in that extra effort to do that, to come here today and uh, promote their cattle and exhibit these cows as they have today. And I must say it's been very professional. I know you uh, Maritimers are, are very competitive. We all know that throughout the world. Uh, but at the same time, I think after it's done, you'll all join together and, and uh, I'm sure maybe have a little party. But uh, without any further ado, I, I just would like to comment on the five cows that I've pulled out here today. Uh, for me, they're, you know, as I said, uh, in the junior champions, the type of cows that are dairy, great mammary systems, feet and legs, and that style and balance. We can't lose that style and balance in our Canadian cow. And uh, that is one thing I'm sure of. So the junior two-year-old, this heifer, uh, you know, look at her now. She's been two, three, four hours since uh, she was in the first class, and she's still right there. Senior three-year-old, the cow that's still very fresh, uh, I do grant that. She's probably going to clean up a little bit in her head and neck in the next few weeks, uh, but what a tremendous mammary and, and side profile. Two four-year-olds, as I said in the class, these two are very, very close. And, you know, I gave the reasons of just a little nicer mammary of our first-place four-year-old over second. And then the five-year-old, the cow that, uh, as I said, the more she settles in, the more you see her. She kind of grows on you. At least she does me, and uh, again, a tremendous memory. So just without any further ado, I'll go out and I'll tap the grand reserve and honorable mention of your show today and congratulate the Leeds persons.
Yeah, just uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think those three cows for me today are the, the ones that are Grand Reserve Honorable Mention there. Extremely dairy, got that great mammary and veination, and uh, uh, I hope you appreciate it. Thank you. The grand champion in today's show is ring number 104, and that was the first place four-year-old Arethusa I Gold Marsh, exhibited by Crasdale Farms, TNL Cattle, and Ty D. Holsteins. The reserve grand champion, ring number 96, Weeksdale Goldwyn Raleigh, exhibited by Blair Weeks and Weeksdale. And the honorable mention, ring number 61. Jerry Crest Goldwyn Aspire, exhibited by Regwall Farms, IGL, Trachili, Rosendale, and Bonshear. So once again, the grand champion, ring 104, the reserve to ring 96, the honorable mention to ring 61. As mentioned, we still do have a few more presentations to make before our show concludes. The top production cow in today's show, sponsored by ABS Canada, and the winner of the Pearly Taylor Memorial Trophy, was Weeksdale Goldwyn Raleigh with a 871 composite. So once again, the top production cow, Weeksdale Goldwyn Raleigh. The top show person in today's show, sponsored by Vicki Fletcher Photography, and winner of the Noel Hooper Memorial Award. Presented by the Hooper and DL families, the top show person in today is Bruce Wood. The Premier Breeder and Premier Exhibitor Awards in our show this afternoon. The Premier Breeder, sponsored by EastGen, and also receiving the prize presented in memory of New Glasgow Holsteins. The runner-up 